After a decade of delays and a nail-biting two weeks the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST of Just Webb, is deployed. Already halfway to its destination a million miles from Earth it will now undergo a prolonged commissioning and testing, and that will involve first light images, what will Webb be pointed at, why and when. Details are still emerging, but we now know that pretty soon Webb will be pointed at targets in the Large Magellanic Cloud LMC, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. However, that will happen only after its first blurry images are inspected during a long mirror alignment process. Here's everything you need to know about Webb's first targets and what to expect from its first images There are actually two meanings of first light when talking about Webb. The phrase first light is used by astronomers when they begin observations on a new telescope, whether it's ground-based or, like Webb, observing from space. Technically speaking the first photons of light are already moving around Webb's optical system, but what's meant by first light is either the first test images or the hand-picked, likely jaw-dropping images that a telescope's science team releases to announce that it's begun its observations. However, first light can also refer to the possibility of imaging the cosmic dawn after the Big Bang. That's often associated with Webb because it will be used to image the very first stars and galaxies to about 300 million years after the Big Bang. That's not what we're discussing here, testing Webb's 21 feet slash 6. 5-meter brilliant mirror, made up of 18 hexagonal gold-covered segments, is going to be a complicated and slow process. When we take what we call the first light of the telescope we are expecting to see 18 separate spots that are probably going to be pretty blurry because everything's going to be misaligned, said Lee Feinberg, optical telescope element manager for the James Webb Space Telescope at the NASA Goddard.